Arboviral encephalitis is a group of viral diseases that affect the central nervous system and are transmitted to humans by mosquitoes or ticks. The term arbovirus is short for arthropodborne virus. There are several types of arboviral encephalitis, including 1. West Nile virus, WNV. This virus is found in many parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and the Middle East. The virus is spread to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. 2. Eastern Equine Encephalitis AE. This virus is found in the eastern United States and is spread to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. 3. Western Equine Encephalitis WE. This virus is found in western North America and is spread to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. 4. St. Louis encephalitis, SLE, this virus is found in North and South America and is spread to humans through the bite of infected mosquitoes. Symptoms of arboviral encephalitis can vary depending on the type of virus and the individual's immune system. In general, symptoms may include fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, confusion, and seizures. In severe cases, the virus can cause inflammation of the brain and spinal cord, which can be fatal. The history of arboviral encephalitis dates back to the early 20th century, when the first cases of mosquito-borne encephalitis were reported in the United States. Since then, outbreaks of arboviral encephalitis have occurred sporadically in different parts of the world, with the most recent outbreaks being reported in the United States in the early 2000s. Prevention of arboviral encephalitis involves reducing exposure to mosquitoes and ticks. This can be done by using insect repellent, wearing long-sleeved clothing, and avoiding outdoor activities during peak mosquito and tick activity times. In addition, mosquito control measures, such as eliminating standing water and using insecticides, can help reduce the mosquito population. Vaccines are available for some types of arboviral encephalitis, such as WNV, for horses but not yet for humans. The symptoms of arboviral encephalitis can vary depending on the type of virus and the individual's immune system. In general, symptoms may appear after an incubation period of 3 to 14 days and may include 1. Fever 2. Headache 3. Muscle weakness or pain 4. Fatigue or weakness 5. Nausea and vomiting 6. Joint pain 7. Stiff neck 8. Confusion or disorientation. 9. Seizures. 10. Coma. In severe cases, arboviral encephalitis can cause inflammation of the brain and spinal cord, which can lead to permanent brain damage or death. Not everyone infected with arboviral encephalitis will develop symptoms, and some people may only experience mild symptoms. It's important to seek medical attention if you have been bitten by mosquitoes or ticks and develop any of these symptoms, especially if you live in or have traveled to an area where arboviral encephalitis is common. Arboviral encephalitis is caused by a group of viruses known as arboviruses, which are transmitted to humans by the bites of infected mosquitoes or ticks. The term arbovirus is short for arthropodborne virus. When a mosquito or tick bites an infected animal, such as a bird or rodent, the virus can multiply in the insect's gut and then migrate to its salivary glands. When the infected insect bites a human, the virus can be transmitted into the bloodstream and potentially cause disease. There are several types of arboviruses that can cause encephalitis, including 1. West Nile virus, WNV. 2. Eastern Equine Encephalitis, EEE. 3. Western Equine Encephalitis, WEE. 4. St. Louis Encephalitis, SLE. 5. La Crosse Encephalitis, LAC. 6. 
Powassan virus, POW. The specific type of arbovirus that causes encephalitis can vary depending on geographic location, climate, and other factors. In some cases, an infected person may not show any symptoms but can still transmit the virus to others through blood transfusion or organ donation. There is no specific treatment for arboviral encephalitis, and treatment is mainly supportive. The goal is to manage symptoms and complications while the body fights the virus. Treatment may involve 1. Hospitalization Patients with severe symptoms may need to be hospitalized for monitoring and supportive care. 2. Medications Pain relievers and anti-inflammatory medications may be prescribed to reduce fever, headaches, and other symptoms. 3. Intravenous 4. Fluids For fluids may be given to prevent dehydration and maintain electrolyte balance. 4. Respiratory support Patients who have difficulty breathing may require mechanical ventilation. 5. Prevention of complications Complications such as seizures and brain swelling may be managed with medication. 6. Rest. Patients are often advised to rest and avoid physical activity until symptoms improve. In some cases, antiviral medications may be used to treat specific types of arboviral encephalitis. However, these medications are not effective against all types of arboviral encephalitis and are typically only used in severe cases. Prevention is the best approach to managing arboviral encephalitis. This can be achieved by reducing exposure to mosquitoes and ticks, using insect repellent, wearing protective clothing, and avoiding outdoor activities during peak mosquito and tick activity times. Vaccines are available for some types of arboviral encephalitis, such as WNV, but not yet for humans. There are several home remedies and lifestyle changes that can help reduce the risk of arboviral encephalitis. 1. Use insect repellent. Apply insect repellent with DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus to exposed skin and clothing. Be sure to follow the instructions on the label and reapply as needed. 2. Wear protective clothing. Wear long-sleeved shirts and pants when outdoors, especially during peak mosquito and tick activity times. 3. Eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes breed in standing water, so be sure to eliminate any sources of standing water around your home, such as flower pots, bird baths, and clogged gutters. 4. Use mosquito netting. Use mosquito netting over beds and windows to prevent mosquitoes from entering your home. 5. Avoid outdoor activities during peak mosquito and tick activity times. Mosquitoes are most active during dawn and dusk, so avoid outdoor activities during these times if possible. 6. Maintain a clean and hygienic environment. Keep your home and surrounding areas clean and free of debris which can attract mosquitoes and other insects. 7. Boost your immune system. Eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and getting enough sleep can help boost your immune system and reduce the risk of infection. It's important to note that while these home remedies can help reduce the risk of arboviral encephalitis, they are not foolproof. If you develop symptoms of arboviral encephalitis or have been bitten by mosquitoes or ticks, seek medical attention immediately.